way I step, hmm, something in my jeans. Yeah. FOI, NOI, you know that's the team, huh? Peace. This is your brother Aiden X, and welcome to the processing class. Yeah, what did the teachings do to your self esteem, particularly? Yes, sir. I have to say that for my self esteem, for one, there isn't anyone else besides the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan who educates the world about women the way that they do, who sheds the love and the light on women the way that they do. So it's unparalleled. You can't find that anywhere else. There isn't anyone else that lights that spark in us as Black women the way that they do. It's pure love. Um, that alone makes me feel like and know that I can conquer the world. You know, whatever it is that I desire to do as a woman, this world is unable to limit me, unable to stop me, unable to slow me down. I, I am the master of my own destiny by Allah's permission. He has given us the teachings. He has given us and blessed us with the messenger, with the minister. And what they have given to us as black women is something that you can't find anywhere else on the world. So that's why you see women flocking to the nation because we, we feel that connection. The minister's love for us is, there isn't any other word to describe it besides pure. Nowhere else are you taught that you are the second self of God. Nowhere. And to really think about that in its essence is powerful alone. To just think about the thought that before the, there was a sun, before Allah created the earth, I was there with him. Mm. You don't get that power anywhere else. And so I just, you know, I'm not trying to teach, but <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, that that is that is where I place my strength. That's where I find my my power is just knowing that I am the second self of Allah. You know, I am a God. That's why in the nation we don't use goddess because mm. outside of Allah, there I too <laughs> also <laughs> share the title. You know, I I am as well, and it allows us to properly view the woman on her um in her proper way as an equal to a man. And so, you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna hold you any longer, but that's just, <laughs> that'd have to be my answer. And Sister Janae has a little something else she'd like to add. Also, yes, speaking on that, I have to also speak on the representation that we're given in the Nation of Islam that you see nowhere Come else. Come on. Of the women, you know, um, student minister Ava, seeing the mothers and how they are all uplifted mm. and no other religion had, do you see, as many, you know, student sister ministers that are speaking and being on the forefront and are uplifted the way that they are. And so, yeah, just, I just had to put that out there. Yes, ma'am. One more, um, but yes. And I just really, I think it's important to always take the time to say all praises due to Allah for Mother Khadija Farrakhan, all praises are due to Allah for the mothers of the faithful, because without them, we would not be here. You know, we stand on the minister's shoulders. We stand on the messenger's shoulders, but we also stand on their family shoulders, especially their women. And I, I just really want to just take the time to highlight that and also speak on what Sister Janae was talking about with the representation of the women. I mean, just about every Sunday, if you're watching the um, NOI webcast, there's a sister mounting that rostrum to teach just as hard as any other person that would. But we add a different perspective to the teachings. And I just, I mean, we have Sister Kenya, Sister Tyre Muhammad. We have Sister Naja, Sister Janae Muhammad. You know, we're everywhere. And the teachings are just embedded in us. And I just... I'm thankful to Allah because we, we can't get this anywhere else.